In this tutorial, we will learn how to create 3D object. Click on create sketch. Then select the plane. Then pan the screen. Then click on sketch. Now I want to create a rectangle from center. Give the center point. Drag the cursor and give the dimension. Press escape to come out. If you want to learn in detail about sketching, you can watch my previous tutorial. I have given link to it in the description. Your sketch needs to be closed and it should be a single loop. Then click on stop sketch. Then to convert this sketch into 3D, click on extrude here. Keyboard shortcut for extrude is E. Click on extrude, then select the profile. Click inside profile, then give the length. Suppose I want to extrude by length of 20, then it has extruded on one side. If you want to reverse the direction, give the length with negative value. Suppose if I give minus 20, it will go down by minus 20. And if you want to apply taper angle from here, you can apply the taper angle. I want a taper of 10 degree. Now it came out. If you want the taper going inside, then here you will have to give the value in minus. Then taper will go inside. I don't want any taper. I will give 0 degree here. And I want extrude on positive side. I will give 20 here. Then click on OK. Then I want to create a hole here. For that click on create sketch. Select the plane. Then click here. And select the shape of your hole. Right now I will create a circular hole. I will create one circle from here. Give the center point. Then give the diameter. Then click on stop sketch. Again click on extrude. Select inside the circle. As we will have to go inside for cutting the hole. Therefore give the value with negative sign. Give minus, give 20. Then it will go inside and it will cut the object and here it has automatically selected the cut option if you want to change it by clicking on this you can change it then click on ok here it has created the cut to orbit the object using mouse press the shift button press the scroll and drag the mouse in this way you can orbit the object again i want to create some object on this surface on this corner again click on create sketch select the surface then create the sketch I want to create one rectangle give the first point at this end give the second point and if you want to give the dimension click here click on this sketch dimension select the object give the location and change the parameter if required same way for this line, select the line, give the location, give the dimension. Then click on stop sketch, again click on extrude, take your cursor over the sketch, click there, then give the length and click on OK. Then if you want to create something on the vertical surface, suppose here I want to create some hole, then again click on create sketch, select this vertical surface. Then create the whole shape. I want it to be circular. Click on circle, center diameter circle. Give the center point and diameter. Press escape. Then to give the location of this circle, click on sketch, sketch dimension. I want to give location from this line to the center point. Then click below, give the location. I want it to be 20. Same way from top line to the center. I want it to be 15 then click on stop sketch then again click on extrude select the circle give the length with negative symbol and click on ok if you want to view how this object was created click on this play button so it will show the steps by which this particular object has been created the complete history of object is shown here here is the first sketch, then this extrude, 
then again this extrude so this is the complete history if you want to make changes to any sketch select the sketch and double click on it suppose i want here half circle click on sketch circle two point circle give the first point give the second point then press escape now here shape needs to be a single loop now here it has created multiple loops so we will trim it click on sketch trim remove the unwanted shape then click on stop sketch so as per our modification 3d model will update automatically same way if you want to make modifications to your feature then double click on the feature suppose i don't want your hole but a shaft is required then double click here on extrude 4 then give the length in positive direction and by clicking on this cut make it join so that a new 3d object will be created and it will be joined to existing object and click on ok in this way from here you can edit the sketches and the features and if you want to view it step by step click on this previous step so it will cancel the previous step and it will come back to its original position and from here you can go ahead and if you want to insert some feature in between you can directly create that feature at that position suppose here i want to add some feature again click on this create sketch then select the face on which you want to add the feature and create your feature i want to add some rectangle here then click on stop sketch then extrude select this sketch give the length okay then again click on this arrow to show the other features in this way you can insert feature at desired position using these buttons then we will create one more sketch in new drawing click on this new design click on create sketch select the plane here i want to create a vertical object therefore i will choose this vertical plane then i will create one sketch using line command then escape then click on stop sketch then orbit it press shift scroll and drag the mouse then again click on this extrude select the profile then give the length if you want to extrude on other side also then click here and select two sides then you can give length on other side also here suppose i will give it 30 and if you want to extrude symmetrical on either side then again select here and select symmetric you can specify from here whether the specified length is half length or whole length then click on ok i want to create one cut here click on this create sketch select this surface then create one circle give the diameter click on stop sketch click on extrude select the profile i want to go down give value with minus 20 then actually i want to cut up to this surface for that select here and click on this two object and select this surface up to which you want to cut it and if you want to cut through all then select here and click on this all so it will cut through all then click on ok and if you don't need some particular feature by right clicking on it you can delete it so that feature will be removed if you don't need this sketch also right click and delete it and if you want to view this object in multiple views click here and select on these multiple views and to come back to single view again click here and click on this single view if you want to see the top view click here it will show the top view and to come back to original view click here on this home symbol it will come back to original isometric view if you want to view isometric view from other side click on this corner points so it will show isometric view from that side and from here you can view the views from different sides 
and by clicking on this home you can come back to original position then from here you can orbit it just press the first button and drag the mouse again click on home to come back to original position from here you can pan it press the first button and drag the mouse from here you can zoom press the first button and drag the mouse then zoom fit is there then zoom window click the first point click the second point then again from here you can zoom fit it that's all thanks for watching we will stop here